This is the first part of a 1000 km motorbike trip. Renting a scooter in Bangkok and traveling to Pattaya, passing by a few Chanburi attractions on the way. This time I chose BSI rental shop with a decent price 1000 baht per week for Honda Click 125. I wouldn't say it's a pleasant ride along highway on the way to Pattaya, and I was happy to stop and take a breath at the first attraction, Grand Canyon Chonburi. As far as I understood, it's a mining quarry with a patch of reservoir in the middle. It's a beautiful place and a popular spot to take some fancy Instagram-worthy photos. This is the famous Hell Garden. Unfortunately, the most horror statues were closed at the moment, so now we can see the beautiful side of this place. Nakle Market is a good place to eat fresh seafood. You can buy it in fresh and ask them to cook it for you. As well as anything can be found here, from veggies and fruits to chicken, eggs and meat. Mini Siam is a famous miniature park attraction in Pattaya. Founded in 1985 as a part of research project, it's an area divided into two district zones, namely Mini Siam and Mini Europe, which is actually the rest of the world, separated by a small serpentine river that you can just step across. Minisiam can take you around the world, not in 80 days, more like in 80 minutes. The park is home to nearly 100 replicas of famous sites worldwide, 
from the Temple of Emerald Buddha to the Statue of Liberty, all displayed at a scale of 1 to 25. It's the perfect place to try and play Gulliver's Travel. Chichan is a famous landmark of Pattaya, and it features a giant sculptural image of Lord Buddha, erected on the giant cliff. In 1996, to commemorate His Majesty the Kings of Thailand Golden Anniversary, the 109 meter tall and 70 meter wide image was carved into the rock and marked out in gold. Finally, getting back to Jamtian Beach, where I stayed for a few nights. The former paddy fields was turned into the one of the popular and famous beaches in Pattaya, with 6 km straight stretch of sand, and it's a home to high-rise condominiums, beachside hotels and restaurants. Jamtian Beach is a more relaxed place to compare neighboring busy beaches, and it's a place where locals and tourists like to come to relax to have the picnics and enjoy time with families and children. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like and hit notification bell button not to miss more videos about Thailand and Asia. The Sanctuary of Truth is the iconic structure in Pattaya and one of the most significant landmarks in Thailand. It's a masterpiece and one of the kind structure in the whole world, which was commissioned by the eccentric millionaire Mr. Lekveri Yapan, known as a patron of culture, who spent a large chunk of his fortune on heritage projects, such as ancient city near Bangkok, which I will talk later in one of my next videos. It's an incredible 100 meter tall temple museum is built entirely of wood in the ancient Thai carpenter style. Not a single nail has been used in its structure. The building has been under construction since 1981 and may not be completed until 2025 at the earliest. The Sanctuary of Truth is best described as a visionary environment, but art installation, religious shrine and cultural monument. Constructed in four winds dedicated to Thai, Khmer, Chinese and Indian religious iconography. The rooftop features four-faced Hindu creator God Brahma for showing respect to father, mother, teacher and the king, and the elephant-headed God Ganesha to follow four universal virtues – benevolence, compassion, empathetic joy and equanimity. The entrance fee to the place is 500 baht, where you can get a personal knowledgeable guide accompanies you through the site. The local legend says that Mr. Veri Yapan decided to build the shrine in response to the growing tension of the Cold War. He tried to show the way to the people to behave better according to Buddhist teachings so we can achieve a peace around the world. The magnum opus design eloquently spreads out in four halls or directions, corresponding with the four noble truths. The western hall is called the region. Its decoration symbolizes the creation of earth by the four elements of nature, 
earth, wind, fire and water. There you find the depiction of Vishnu, the Hindu god, who sleeps on Naga in the middle of an ocean and represents water. Brahma, who rides a swan and represents air. And Shiva, who lives on the top of the mountain and represents earth and fire. The southern hall is centered around the sun, the moon and the stars, the three creators of life. The sun controls the day and night, the moon controls the tides, while the stars controls your destiny. The eastern hall is about parental love. It tells us about the last two creators, our mothers and fathers, and their pure, relentless love. It teaches that the love is the answer to everything, and love starts in the family first. The Northern Hall symbolizes the social and spiritual development with syncretic themes of Eastern philosophies, such as Buddhism, Taoism and Confucianism. It implies that even though we are born in different circumstances, by doing good deeds we can be freed from our vices and greed. Acceptance and love are the most important. The central hall features a magnificent wooden throne. There are no deities at the gates around it, which symbolizes a liberation, timeless truth and the harmony. It also urges us to cleanse our hearts and follow the five precepts of Lord Buddha, to abstain from killing, stealing, adultery, lying and vices, which is alcohol, opiates and gambling. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like and hit notification bell button, not to miss any further updates on traveling in Thailand and Asia. This video is a small part of a bigger 1,400 km motorbike trip starting in Bangkok and passing by the few provinces on the way to Chantaburi. Today we will talk about typical major tourist attractions in Pattaya and of course Big Buddha Hill Temple is one of the remarkable ones. On the very top of Pratumnak Hill between Pattaya and Jomtien Beach there is an enormous 18-meter tall Buddha popping up through the trees. This big Buddha is the largest in the region, which was built in 1940s, when Pattaya was nothing more than a fishing village. Pattaya Beach is 3 km long beach, which is well connected with another major tourist attraction in Pattaya, Walking Street. Normally, Walking Street Pattaya is the biggest and the busiest party hotspot in the whole of Thailand. A full kilometer from its high-tech getaway at the beach road, almost every building is a nightclub, go-go bar, beer bar or restaurant. Unfortunately, in the current pandemic situation, it's hardly recognizable now.
underwater world Pattaya is an aquarium in Pattaya city, featuring over 100 meters of indoor walkthrough tunnels, where you can observe some 2,500 marine animals, comprising more than 200 species from the region as well as overseas, including sharks, sea otters, stingray, and rare shovel nose ray. Anyakusan Sala is a Chinese temple, is now used as a museum, housing a very unique collection of Chinese antiques, statues, paintings, granite carvings, pottery, bronzeware, and other artwork from China, some of which are gifts from the Chinese government. Few of the pottery pieces are more than 3,000 years old from the Shang dynasty. Visitors will also find statues of 18 Shaolin monks in various martial arts stands from the legendary Shaolin Monastery. As a temple, Anyakusan Sala houses sculptures of Chinese gods, including Buddha statues and Jade statue of Goddess of Mercy. There is also a section dedicated to art and history of Thailand. Wat Yan was built in 1976. It is relatively modern and one of the most significant temples in Pattaya area because it comes under the patronage of His Majesty the King. The many buildings and gardens of Wat Yan cover an area of approximately 146 acres. Wat Yan contains many priceless Buddhist relics said to belong to Buddha and his disciples and a replica of Buddha's footprint.
Nonnoj Garden is set in two and a half square kilometers, beautifully landscaped park and can easily make an all-day trip. The entire area is more like a theme park with the cultural shows, restaurants and accommodation, and as well as the vast area showcasing individually themed gardens. The land was bought in 1954 by Mrs. Nonnoj and her husband Pesit, but the intention of developing the land is a fruit plantation. However, the owners instead decided to plant tropical flowers and plants as a wildlife conservation project. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like and hit the notification bell button not to miss any further updates on traveling in Thailand and Asia.